I used to think that I was pretty smart for reading the info pages. At least, much better than when I was a noob reading the man pages. But recently, I was arguing with someone on the internet about the command line, and I lost the argument. But how could this happen? I read all of the documentation in both the info pages and the man pages. That's when I learned that you have to read all six versions of the documentation and memorize the subtle differences between each version. In a couple of my recent videos, I highlighted the importance of man pages and info pages. I also talked a bit about the importance of distinguishing between built-in shell commands and standalone executables. The existence of slightly different built-in shell commands introduces the possibility for even more documentation. So in this video, I want to back up a bit and highlight the fact that in some cases, there can be as many as six different sources of documentation for a given command. And I don't mean third-party documentation, but rather official documentation that likely comes pre-installed on your machine. So to start off, let's do a case study on the kill command. Now, I actually didn't even realize that this was a built-in command until the video I did the other day. Now, out of habit, I usually just look at the man page for this command, but since it appears to be a built-in command, it would be more appropriate to look it up with the help command, or by using the help flag, which appears to show the same thing. However, running the built-in executable with the help flag gives a slightly different result. As you can see, these two pieces of documentation provide approximately the same information. In addition to this, the man page for the bash shell also has a dedicated entry for this command, which is visibly different from the help page. And of course, we can't forget the info page documentation. As you can see, this leaves us with six different documentation sources for the kill command, five of which are unique. In the bash shell, you can use the compgen command with the dash b flag to show a list of commands that are built into the shell. Some of these commands have built-in executable versions, and others don't. This means that some of these commands won't have a man page at all. And also, not all of these commands will always show you a help page. So, in light of this, I wrote a couple scripts to help me aggregate all of the documentation from all sources. This script starts by using the compgen command to get a list of all built-in shell commands. And for each of these commands, it saves the info page, the man page, the built-in command help page, the output from using the help flag, and the output from the help flag on the standalone executable. Now, this really isn't perfect because it doesn't traverse hyperlinks in the info pages. So, let's go ahead and run this script now. So we can already learn a bit about the inconsistencies in documentation from looking at the output of running that script. Now, the previous script doesn't quite consider all the documentation. There's still more documentation in the man page for bash. It was a bit more work to extract this documentation, but I was able to do so with the following Python script. This Python script accepts the man page for bash as input. It then uses a couple of regular expressions to try and extract the different sections for the built-in commands. Some of the entries aren't quite captured correctly but this will do good enough for this demo. All right, let's run our script. And here, you can see all the different pieces of documentation that we've extracted. Let's take a look at a few of them now. First, let's check the documentation for the alias command. So the alias command does not have a man page or an info page or an executable with the help flag. It does have an entry in the man page for bash. It also supports the help flag and has an entry with the help command. Now, what about the opening left square bracket command? As you can see, it has a man page it has an info page that appears to show the man page. It doesn't support the help flag. However, it is supported by the help command. And furthermore, it does have an entry in the man page for bash. However, the script that I used collected it under the test command. Now, let's check the bg command. Since this is a built-in command, it only appears in the man page for bash and with the help command or the help flag. And the same thing is true for the fg command. Now, let's look up the true command. This command has a man page, an info page, the executable supports the help flag. However, the built-in version doesn't support the help flag. And finally, let's check the echo command. This one has a man page, an info page, the executable supports the help flag, it has an entry in the man page for bash, and when using the help flag with the built-in version, it appears to simply echo back the help flag text. However, it is supported with the help command. Now, if all of this documentation was not enough for you, you can also consult the POSIX specifications. Many of the built-in commands that we've seen today also have a corresponding POSIX specification. The POSIX acronym stands for Portable Operating System Interface. The reason that POSIX specifications are worth paying attention to is because a POSIX compliant script has a high likelihood of working without modification on other computers. So, for the most common shell commands, these documentation sources are the only official ones that I'm currently aware of at this time. If any of you know of any others, feel free to share them in the comments.